it's your girl T here back with another inspired video I know you guys are having a beautiful blessed day because we are tea timers it's what we do our affirmation of the day is thank you for everything I have thank you for everything I have we're thanking the universe God creator whomever you believe in for all the things that we have because we're manifesting every day, we're getting things every day. Whether it's big or small, we're thanking for the things that we have. I wanted to touch base with you guys. First of all, thank you to all of you who are subscribing. That's really, that really makes me happy. And I love that what I say resonates with you. So I wanted to say thank you for you who are subscribing and who are interacting. It really means a lot to me. I also want to tell you guys, I was thinking about this today. When you're manifesting, and I've made this mistake a million times or more, if you stress yourself out to the point of almost obsession with the thing that you're manifesting and the fun just is drained out of it, and you, it's such a huge deal to you. If you don't get this, you feel like your world is gonna crumble. That's not a great place to be. That's not a good feeling to have. You wanna release some of that resistance by reminding yourself that with or without whatever it is that you're manifesting, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay regardless of when it shows up in your life because you know that you create your own reality. And I've told you this in the past, time is not of the essence because of the fact that you believe so much in yourself, you know that you manifest quickly and easily. So whether it comes today, tomorrow, next week, or in a month, it's still going to manifest at some point. And letting go of those timelines a lot of the time will help you guys calm down and not tight grip your manifestation so hard, which is adding more resistance onto the manifesting process. If you really are aligned with a feeling of success and that you're a master at manifesting, you don't feel the need to micromanage as much as a lot of you guys who are writing into me are doing. I used to micromanage. I'd be like, well, when is this thing showing up? I want it to show up now. Why isn't it here now? What if this person said this to me? What does it mean? Is it okay if I do this? That's micromanaging. All we need to know when we're manifesting is that we've declared a desire. We believe that we're a master at manifesting, so we know at some point we're going to get it. Gently affirm when you feel so inspired. I found in my own journey that when I force myself to affirm 24-7, it caused me to be tired. It made me feel really low and it also made me feel like I was doing something wrong with which in itself is a manifestation because if you're constantly affirming 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 looking at the 3d not seeing what you're affirming for it gives you a feeling that you're doing something wrong and you're looking for more techniques you're looking for more videos so you are manifesting a continuous cycle of not getting what you want when you take a moment to pause and give yourself a break and be like you know what I hope I'm doing everything right this is going to work out for me. I trust and believe that things will happen because I'm changing my thoughts, I'm changing my emotions, I'm changing my beliefs. So it'll happen. It's coming. I need to not worry about it so much. When you have that kind of relaxed attitude towards manifesting and it's similar to how you view gravity or you drink your water, that's when manifesting will get easy and that's when you'll see more things show up in your reality. Trust me, I did it that tight-fisted, I have to affirm every six minutes of the day, every two minutes of the day. If I don't affirm, I wouldn't let myself listen to any music. I wouldn't let myself do anything outside of affirming. If I wasn't working, I was affirming. I kind of made affirming my full-time job. And that is taking all the joy out of our manifestation journey. And it's making it into a tedious, annoying process when manifesting is supposed to be a joyful process when we affirm we're supposed to be happy because we're affirming for things that we want and we know are coming so don't forget when you're manifesting to allow the joy in the process give yourself a break if you feel like going to a movie or listening to something on I was gonna say the radio but that sounds so old if you want to listen to something off your phone like music wise do things that bring you joy and make you feel good affirm when you feel like it especially in those happy moments 
and see how quickly things come to you. I am just telling you guys this because I see a lot of you are, are messaging me in a strained or very um, nervous energy. Let some of that go. Trust and believe in the process. Your manifestations are coming. Have a relaxed attitude towards it. And trust me, it will make the process more joyful and easier for you to get what it is that you want. I intend this helped you. I hope y'all have a beautiful, blessed day. I love you guys, but not as much as y'all should be loving yourselves. Bye!